people acknowledge the emotional and spiritual bond to unite them in this most significant of human relationships. Josh and Amanda believe family and friends play an important role in their marriage. And so they are asking me to include today in their ceremony. I am going to give you their rings. And while the marriage ceremony is taking place, I ask you to pass the around among them to yourselves. We are asking that as you, as you pull up the rings and pass them, you share your positive thoughts, blessings and prayers, and infuse them into the rings that they will then wear. This is called a ring warming. Once they make their way back to the front, the bride and groom will exchange them and carry that love with them as they are embark on this journey together. These rings are starting out as cold pieces of metal and will be turned to them ready to be exchanged, warm with your thoughts and your love. I call on those present to witness that I, Joshua David Grinfield, take Amanda Don McDonald to be my lawful wedded wife. And now, Josh would like to share some words that he has written of his own for Don. Dear Amanda, for the moment I'm about to tell you a funny question asking you to take a care to tell me that your own life. I knew you were going to tell me. Why you decided to want to date with me after I accidentally ghosted you because I was really nervous to be fair? Um, that's too bad, I'll never know. <laughs> Again, I was more surprised if you were second date after almost tanked the first. Again, I um, it seems I did redeem myself for second date though, but since those rocky first steps of getting to know you, I was amazed at how special you are. You're a passionate person who gives 120% in everything you do, as example by inside. <laughs> um, you care about everyone in your life and would do anything for them. You have a chaotic energy that meshes very well with my own. <laughs> Growing as a couple during the pandemic wasn't easy. As soon as, I, as lockdown hit, I was ecstatic that you had you in my bubble. I don't think I could have survived without you. We had to get comfortable though with homemade dinners and movies on the couch instead with the traditional dates. But honestly, I cherish those nights more than anything else. I learned I had a passion for cooking and showering you in love and calories. In those stormy waters, you were the lighthouse guiding me through the chaos of, of, of uncertainty. You really pushed me to be a better person, encouraging me for, to move forward and to ensure me and ensuring me of who I am. You're my best friend and I love you. I can't imagine my life without you. I promise to always be there for you in good times and in bad. I promise to always make you laugh, even at my own expense. And I promise to move, uh, challenge you to move forward and get out of your comfort zone, just as you do for me. I call on those present. I call on those present to witness that I, Amanda Don McDonald. To witness that I, Amanda Don McDonald. Take Joshua David Rintoul. Take Joshua David Rintoul. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. <laughs> First of all, ditto. <laughs> Josh, I am so thankful each day that we found each other. Your warmth, thoughtfulness, humor, and love fill my days with joy and laughter. When I get a smiley face text at work to remind me you're thinking of me, or when you pull me in for a bear hug, I feel cherished. After our awkward first date, an amazing second date, I knew we had something special but I didn't know how important our relationship was until later that summer. As some of you will know, I lost my beloved dog, Kira. Josh stood by my side, drove us to the vet, and patiently waited outside while I said goodbye. Afterwards, while I was holding Kira and finding it impossible to let her go, Josh came in and sat with me and grieved with me. He shared stories of his pets growing up and in a matter of moments, he had me shakily laughing. I knew then that Josh was my person, that he would stand by me on my worst days and still be a bright light, like the sun behind a storm. Today, I stand here ready to take this monumental step to pledge my life, my love to you. I promise to love you, cherish you, honor you. I promise to give you patience and understanding on your hard days and to remember these vows on mine. I promise to love you if you turn into a turtle or a lamp or suddenly <laughs> shrink to half your height. I promise to stand by you as you've stood by me each day. 
I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of my love and faithfulness. Of my love and faithfulness. With this ring, With this I ring, be wed. I be wed. <laughs> I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of my love and faithfulness. Of my love and faithfulness. With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. Family, friends, I have the great pleasure to introduce the newly married Mr. and Mrs. Rintoul. May you both enjoy a happy and loving life together, and may the home you build together be a place of comfort and peace for you and for all of those who visit it. May your lives be filled with warmth, humor, and love. You may now feel your vows with a kiss. Congratulations. Leave my thoughts on the table. Set my keys by the door. All these fortune and fame. I don't think they need us no more. In my head like a blitzkrieg. On my heart like a war. Coming back. Like an angel in white on the way. Can you be like a drone straight from a song that I've known all along? Can you take the take the islands just pulling apart the waves as I fall into your arms? Tearing up roses as daylight approaches, just hoping to be what you want. Like some pillar of God On this road that you want Burning like some bottle rock Let me fight for your honor Raise a wall for your truth Build it up like a fortress Wave the flag when I come Top, then you're down the highs and the lows keep swirling walk these streets like you're beating rise up to mean the break that you need it's coming just hold on hold on yeah lift your eyes off the ground you only be Well, really obvious to people who spend time with Josh and Amanda. They chose each other really, really well, didn't they? I mean, have you seen how they look at each other? <laughs> have you seen? <laughs> <laughs> have you seen like how they adore each other? It's so rare today. Have you seen how they laugh together? Have you seen how much respect that they have for each other? I just wanted to tell you guys that, that we're beyond proud of you. And we have every confidence in you and your new life that you're working together. Amanda, you probably know by now, but Josh loves you with every ounce of his being. I can, you can tell. And today he's giving himself 100% to you. And you couldn't have asked for a more kind-hearted, loving, funny, most days, 
<laughs> and loyal, lifelong partner as Josh. And I want you to be really secure in this, regardless of what life circumstances bring you guys. Treat Josh the care though, because as you know, and you've already pointed out, he's a sensitive guy. But to be clear, that's his superpower, as you've already discovered. You see, most guys misread their partners, their feelings, but unlike, unlike most guys, Josh actually becomes a part of them. And that's a really good thing. And Josh, great choice. You know, I really wanted to pick your wife. <laughs> but you did so much better than I ever could have. Have you noticed? how Amanda just so wonderfully completes you. My wish for you today is that you never stop courting her. Never stop being over the top in love with her. Never stop giving yourself 100% to her. Never stop being her own personal clown. Or Go anyway, or pirate. Go all in love for her and remember always that she's a princess. And that many times she might need over the top, 24 7 care. <laughs> but that's okay because princesses have the power to reward very handsomely, as I'm sure that you've already figured out. And lastly, guys, I wanted to tell you something you probably already know. And that is that most of these people, all of these people showed up today, they didn't come just for a good meal. I mean, it was a good meal, and to be clear, I've asked the kitchen when the next buffet is going to be. <laughs> But that's not really why they're here. They're here because they love you. They care for you. They want your ab their absolute best for you as you're starting your life together. And, and you have a family who will be rooting for you. As you and cheer you on from the sidelines. You have parents. And you have grandparents who will support you and will walk with you through these turbulent times. Who will pray for you daily and will continue to do so for the rest of their lives as our parents did, and as our grandparents did as well. So Josh, Amanda, we're so happy for you. We're excited to see what the future has for you as you embark on this new adventure. We love you with all of our heart, and may God bless your new beginning together. Oh, and one thing, Amanda, thank you so much for making Josh over the top happy. He was absolutely vibrating this morning. <laughs> I've never seen him so giddy, which is so awesome. And welcome to the family. And I have to add, you have absolutely no idea what you've got yourself into. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not very good at speeches, but uh, I just want to say we're happy. Josh has come over to our house many a time. He's a heavy lifter. We've had him moving heavy projects and stuff for us. Um, you know, as a father, I mean, Heather and I, we, we, we look for a special day, you know, like the day they say you love you know, us and your first walk. And this is a special day for us that you're getting married, you know, it's really good. And, and I'd also like to thank my wife, Sophie, for helping Amanda with her dress so the bees on before she spent a video night and so on and on. And just, just really, really proud of it. And also welcome to our family too, Josh. And, you don't know what you're getting into on this side. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're really happy and we're really proud. You guys are happy. And I just say, welcome to the family. First, I'd like to read a note that was um, sent to me from Amanda's grandparents in Prince Edward Island. And it says, Dear Amanda and Josh, congratulations on this, your special day. Wish we could be there with you. But due to health problems and COVID, we can't be there. We will be there though in spirit, in our hearts, and on our minds as you take your vows together. Grampy and I wish you a long and happy life together as we have had 61 years ourselves. There will be ups and downs, disagreements, etc. But remember your love for each other. Congratulations again, and enjoy your special day. All of our love, Marion, Papa, Stuart, and Prince Everton. Dear Savannah 
and Josh. June 18th, 2022 is a very special day that no one in this room here tonight will forget. It's your wedding day. It's the day that we as your parents have waited and wished for since the day you both were born. Thank you both for finding each other and spending the rest of your lives together. As your families and close friends with, watched you join hands and hearts earlier today to begin your married life together, always remember to comfort each other in times of trouble and sadness, offer support and encouragement in each other's accomplishments, and most of all, to deepen the love you have for each other as you continue down life's road. Congratulations to you both, and may you never forget what is worth remembering and remember what is best for God. All my love, Mom. Marriage is a lot like Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> you go through a lot together. Challenges, treasured moments, skill checks, wisdom saves. Trust me, the parallels are there. <laughs> The only thing different is scheduling. <laughs> with D&D, it's notoriously hard to get everyone to be able to make it at a certain time with any consistency. But marriage is consistency. It's having someone you're always happy to see seven nights a week. Now, I've known Josh a very long time. I don't hold the record, but it's a long time. We met at Camp Kiwanos and became fast friends. We made a podcast together. Played a lot of Magic the Gathering, like a lot, a lot. <laughs> now, all this time we've lived far apart, and one of the reasons our long distance friendship succeeded is because Josh and his family are so genuinely welcoming. And Amanda, I'm sure you've noticed that <laughs> even though it's only been official for a few hours, you're already part of the family. Now, for many years, I've asked questions, and Josh had said, said, roll for it. He is the dungeon master, after all. So, do I make the jump over the raging river? Roll for it. Does the nobleman notice me stealing this pie? Roll for it. Does my magic put the dragon to sleep? Roll for it. Is Amanda the one? Roll for it. <laughs> I know we can all agree that Josh is a very lucky man because Amanda is a natural 20 in every way, and that's the highest number on the dice in case you were wondering. So let us ready our glasses for the princess and her pirate queen. Her, no, pirate king. <laughs> pirate captain. <laughs> You don't marry the person you can live with, you marry the person you can't live without, which is exactly what Amanda and Josh have done. Let's raise a glass to them. I didn't bring mine with me. Josh and Amanda. Hello everyone. I am so thankful to be here today with all of you to celebrate Amanda and Josh. Um, if you don't know me, I'm Leah. And I've known Amanda since grade one. And feels like that at Hampton Elementary. Um, and we quickly formed a fast friendship because I was too shy to talk to anyone. And Amanda talked to everyone, so she just <laughs> talked for me while I like hid behind her. And it was great. Um, it was such an adventure to grow up with you as my best friend. I have so many amazing memories, such as you forcing me to watch Amy Wash Up. I hate yes. <laughs> Dressing up as fairies and going to Luminara. Um, and making some epic home movies. And I would show you all the clips of some of them, but I want to leave here alive, and I don't think I'm going to let me do that. <laughs> yes. Um, so I want to tell you a story of a time Amanda was above and beyond as a best friend. So we would often go to Amanda's house, um, or Heather's house, at lunch when we went to Colbert. So we would go over there, and we'd eat our lunch, and we would watch Lord of the Rings special features. <laughs> And that was how we spent, just the two of us. It was great. Um, but I had got a brand new purse from Tilcom Mall. And I think we were probably about 10 or 12. <laughs> and 
Yes, and it was a really muddy, rainy day, and the hill was super muddy, and Amanda's like, Leah, you're so clumsy. I'll hold your purse for you. So Amanda takes my purse and proceeds to go down the hill, and she falls right on her butt. <laughs> so I'm like, Amanda, are you okay? And I run down after her, and she's got the purse in the air, not a drop of mud on it, and like meanwhile she is covered in <laughs> I just feel like that was pure dedication from a best friend. <laughs> Probably for like a ten dollar Bentley's bag, but you know, she showed it. Um, so Amanda isn't just my best friend, she is also my voice of reason, such as when I thought it was a great idea to tube down couch and river for my sister's bachelorette but it was a Lord of the Rings themed wedding. So I'm like, oh, we will all wear like Lord of the Rings cloaks. It'll be great, like it'll be like the fellowship. And Amanda's like, no, we, uh, you will get everyone killed. So she <laughs> saved everyone's life. Um, <laughs> and I have much better now planning bachelorettes. Um, so we had a, for Amanda's, we had a beautiful poster of Legolas. And just some, you know, scandalous themed rain, rain toss games that Renee dominated. She was very good at those. So that's better. Um, and we've been friends for over 20 years now. And I've got to see her through so many stages of her life, from getting her brand new puppy, Kira, working her first job scooping popcorn. And I'm so excited for this new chapter of her life with Josh. And I want to tell you about the first time I met Josh, which was at a Disney trivia night. So Amanda was dominating, as she does, and I remember looking over at Amanda and Josh and just like seeing the way he was looking at her, and I don't think they had been dating for that long. And he was just looking at her with this, I can't even describe it, but I just was like, this is the one, and I could just see how Amanda was completely herself around him. And it turned out to be right. <laughs> um, so, it was clear to me that Amanda rolled a nat 20 when she met Josh um, to find so, someone so compatible with her sphere of humor and love of life. And there were a few critical misses, such as on one of our first dates when I spilled popcorn and pop all over the movie theater. <laughs> but I think that just showed them um, how they can get through any circumstance with a smile on their face. <laughs> um, I've been so lucky to watch them come together as a couple over the last few years, um, such as working nights at their house where they always feed me such delicious food, um, and going camping with so much fun, and it's been so great to get to know Josh alongside Amanda. Um, so, it's clear from witnessing today that you have such a strong fellowship around you. You are ready for any quest to come, and I can't wait to see where this little road leads you. Cheers. Thank you all for coming. Making like an unbelievable day, like, and just making it unforgettable for both of us. It was surreal to say the least as everyone um, like my brother and friend Alex who have already gone through this say hey, take a breath and try to enjoy it it's, again it's also couldn't have happened without Amanda's dedication to us all and, and it's, it goes without saying that I love you and I'm happy that we get to sit, share this day with everyone for many more to come I love you too. <laughs> yeah that was, that was, that's as far as we got yeah. <laughs> Stepping out of the shadow in my room Caught between cowboy clouds and misty moon Silver dress, sparkling eyes, crystal blue I would always tell the line 